How old were you when you got into the porn industry? 25. 25. 1978. And so how did that happen? You walking down the road and somebody said, hey, Roy, you want to? No, back then, Playgirl magazine was a magazine for women to look at, like Playboy for men. Right. So um, I was doing theater. I, I was a teacher, a licensed teacher. I even have a master's degree. I wanted to be an actor, so I quit the teaching, came to California, you know, and I just uh, auditioned and auditioned, and I got plays, got into equity, and then I, you know, got into some film and TV. Oh, I got really? to do get some regular work, but the job market was horrible. Oh. You know, everybody wants to be an actor, you know, so it was very difficult to get a break. So, I'd, you know, do the same thing everyone else was doing, work up in the Catskills as a waiter. Although I did catch um, a piece of Woodstock. That's kind of oh, nice. Yeah. I was 16 and I was working up in the Catskills and I actually got to see the festival for like 20 minutes and I had to go serve lunch. Amazing. You know, missed the, uh, uh, after the theater, then went back to New York, you know, made some money. Went to Queens College and then went back and forth, Catskills, New York, and, and that was it. So, uh, so when you decided to become a porn star, oh, I'm sorry, that that was my so that was my last choice. It was so hard to get work that when I was approached to do Playgirl magazine, I did it. And then from Playgirl, then I started doing some nude and then some adult. Some How did they find you? Um, from the magazine. Oh, okay. It was October issue, John Ritter on the cover. And it was a Playgirl. It was a very popular magazine yeah. for women to read. And, and men and gay men were reading it. Amazing. So people saw me in that, and they called me on the phone and said, why don't you do an adult movie? I said, it strikes me as kind of sleazy. And I realized, oh, well, I'm kind of sleazy. Why not? So <laughs> I, I, did, we did, I did it, and it was actually not so bad. Did remember, you back the... then, it was only film. No video, no DVD, no right. internet, no you know, virtual reality. It was just film, you know, 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter. So you sing like a real film, which has sex in it. It was more like a movie than it is today when it's kind of like, here's a cup of coffee, eat me. And there's your dialogue, you know? Right. And did you have to audition for the very first scene? Like when they, they, when they you, never when really you do that. that, that that's a, a rumor. You oh. get paid the minute you work. You know, if, if a guy wants to get work, the best thing he could do is bring a girl with him. Oh. And they go to an agent or a producer or a director and then they'll meet him. He'll see their bodies, what they look like. But no one's going to say, well, let me see you have sex so I could decide. No, they'll just look at oh. you and go, all right, come Wednesday, 4 o'clock, you know, we're going to give you a scene and let's see how you do. Hopefully you'll do good. If the guy does not do very good, his career could end. You know? <laughs> so they look at you first to make sure you have everything that they're looking for, like looks and body. And they like all that. Oh, but okay. the important thing is being able to perform okay. and keep an erection. That's the hardest thing. That's the main thing. Amazing. They, right, because... Back before they invented Viagra, Cialis, Lovitra, right. or whatever, you know, you had to use your own hand and a good imagination. Oh. You know? I always like to say when I do my comedy show that, you know, uh, you know I, I was so horny and I used to masturbate so much as a kid that when I had sex with a girl, I felt like I was cheating on my hand. <laughs> yeah. well, I made him laugh. That's ladies amazing. And gentlemen. I didn't take that much. He laughed. Okay. That is amazing. Yeah, and so, so did so you? Then, then I, so, did you? I was, I was larger than average. And that helped too. Oh and yeah. Was, you know, it's, they have it. So. Are you was, white? Yeah, yeah, full white. Jewish boy, full Jew. You do. Mom and dad both. Yeah. Oh, uh, because normally grandparents white. all full Jew. Yeah. They, were, they did surveys, which is interesting. They did a lot of surveys, and for some bizarre reason, a lot of a lot of the men in porn were Jewish. Jamie Gillis, Mark Stevens, Randy West, Herschel Savage, me. I can go on and on. Why is and that? And the women. Almost never are. Why are the men so into it? And so women, women are not. You see very few porn stars that are Jewish. The men, what? I don't know. I mean, they like to perform. I guess they like to be actors. You know, yeah, they, they did a lot of interesting surveys on that. And they, it was hard to find. And so were you reason. disowned by They're, the Jewish people as no. you dug into that? There's a double standard in society. It's not good, but it exists. Where they, the father will tell his son, go get him. Make your dad proud. He's like a junior version of me. Look at that. The girls love him. Then they tell the girl, don't you dare. Right. Don't you let these guys treat you like, you know, so it's a whole different ball game, you know. So were like, you with, considered, with girls, what, what was that? were you considered to be a slap maker? They never use that term, you know, they use it, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. But, uh, so are you no, a slap a maker? performer or performer, <laughs> a performer. So a would you call actor. yourself a slap maker? Uh, sure. You like oh, no, it? No, because that means I'm making, no, I can't use that term because the girls who come to the business, they, they do it on their own. They answer ads in the paper, and they, can, and they come in, 
and they get a lot more work and they get and they get paid a lot more money. Right. And the, it's the, those ads in the paper are the slut makers. <laughs> the girls see the ad. Hey, today six o'clock, they're going to see an agent who wants to get you know girls want to get in the business. So the girls make more money than the guys. A good deal more. Really? Yeah. That's discrimination, right? No, it's uh, in in a lot of businesses and strippers. They got the male dancers also, but the women make the best money. Are the women considered sluts? The boyfriend will probably punch you. I mean, it's they 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 call the shots. The girls in porn call the shots. Oh, they do. They 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 choose the scenes they want to do. They'll even choose the actors sometimes. Oh, because they'd rather you know work with someone differently. You know. How did you be in twenty five when your parents found? Did your parents find parents find out that you both father and mother found out that you were doing that kind of work? Oh yeah. Porn, pornography and it started to be there? popular. It started to be on news and ads. They would they would have me be like a representative. If something had took place that was newsworthy, they would give me the phone call. And why know? is that? Because I was getting better known as a porn actor. Oh. And also I was a school, a school teacher once. Oh. And so I would be... What, what did you teach? What did you teach? Ed, mentally oh. challenged. Oh, okay. I did it so many years ago. They didn't use the word autism. They called it childhood schizophrenia. Yeah. yeah. What did your parents say when they saw you, your father and mother say when they saw you in a pornographic movie? It was kind of almost like I was saying earlier. Like the father was like, my son, you know, is a little And your mother say, no, no, do this? It's a little bit different. Well, not that much, because my parents are pretty liberal. So uh -huh. they understood, but, you know, but, but there's a double standard everywhere. People watching this show right now would go, yeah, Ron's right. There's a bit of a double standard. Yeah. And we didn't create it. We don't like it, but it exists. You know, like, yeah. As, remember I said how the guy tells his son, go get him, son. Right. And they tell the girl, don't you dare. Don't right. you dare. Get the gun. They're, you know, it's a, a whole different attitude. <laughs> yeah. And that causes the double standard, which, you know, makes it difficult. And so being a young man and being popular and doing it and people start to know who you are, what right. did that feel like being a young man when you walk out into the streets? It was and, great. It was a micro like, hey, bro. It was a macrocosm of life itself. You know, it's, it was the same thing as the majors go through, but it's a lot less money. Like, we'd get the same autograph signings and special treatments and limousines and get flown around the world. Mm -hmm. We got that, too. But on a much smaller scale, you know, we're not making 20, 20 million dollars like Jim Carrey or Tom Cruise, but we'll make thousands, you know. So it's like we're doing good, we're having fun, but it's not in the in the anything like the, the big boys, you know. I noticed that they give out awards too yes, for, for yeah. slut making and, and sluts. <laughs> I want to see it happen. And the winner, <laughs> right? But today's well, category are the slut makers <laughs> right over here, you know. <laughs>